Hi, welcome to Mad English TV. Which answer do you think goes in here? My neighbor was looking at the birds this morning. My neighbor was staring at the birds this morning. My neighbor was watching the birds this morning. Or my neighbor was seeing the birds this morning. Which one do you think is right? I'm going to tell you right now. Watching is the correct answer. You could say my neighbor was looking at the birds this morning, but that might sound a little bit strange. Um, and you could say my neighbor was staring at the birds this morning, but that would be even stranger. And you can't say my neighbor was seeing the birds this morning. You can't say that at all. So the best option is watching. Okay, so this lesson is on the words look, watch, see, stare, glance, gaze, and spot. Okay, let's start with the word spot. So to spot means to see something that is difficult to notice. Okay, I saw this article on the internet yesterday and it says how to spot a liar. Seven clues anyone can use. Do you know how to spot a liar? For example, when you play poker, do you know how to spot a liar? If your opponent says, I have two aces, do you believe him? He might be lying. I think the best poker players are probably really good at spotting a liar. Okay, or you could say, I spotted a lion on our African safari. So let's say you go to Africa and you go on a safari. You're driving in your Jeep and you're looking at animals and suddenly you spot a lion hiding in the bushes. Okay, then you can, when you go back to your hotel, you can call your mom and say, hey, I spotted a lion hiding in the bushes. Okay, let's take a look at the word gaze. Gaze means to look at something for a long time with lots of thought or passion. Okay, so I love gazing at the stars. You go outside every night and you just look up at the stars. Wow, they're so amazing. I love gazing at the stars. This thing here is called a telescope. So if you really love stargazing, you might buy a telescope and just look at the stars for a few hours every night. I'd like to get into stargazing. I've never owned a telescope, but I think I would really enjoy. That would be a fun hobby to get into, okay? She gazed into my eyes. Your eyes are so beautiful. I love you so much. Okay, I'm gazing into your eyes. Actually, I'm gazing into a camera, but I'm pretending that I'm gazing into your eyes. Okay, let's take a look at the word stare. Stare means to look at something for a long time, usually with your eyes wide open. Okay, so let's say a guy is riding his bike and suddenly he sees a beautiful girl. Okay, that's what it means to stare. When I travel to other countries, very often people stare at me because I have white skin. Okay, sometimes they just sit there and stare at me. Like if I'm in a restaurant or something, I'm eating, sometimes like everyone in the restaurant is just staring at me. I don't know, maybe I look weird or something like that. But in our culture, it's very rude to stare. Okay, you can stare at animals, you can stare at things, but you can't stare at people. Otherwise, you're being rude. Okay, let's look at this sentence here. He couldn't stop staring when he saw his house after the tornado. Okay, so a tornado came and destroyed a guy's house. Then afterwards, when he's seeing his house, wow, my house is completely destroyed. He's just staring at his house. Okay, let's take a look at the word glance. Now, glance means to look at something very briefly. Briefly means for a very short time. Okay, he glanced at his watch. That means this. Okay, let's say you're late for work and you're running there trying to get there on time. You might glance at your watch to see if, you, if you're going to get there on time. Okay, 
She glanced over her shoulder after they said goodbye. That means this. Okay, to glance over your shoulder means to look behind you. Okay, let's take a look at the word watch. So watch means to look at something intentionally for a while. So intentionally means it's your choice or your decision. It's something interesting to you, okay? Like you could watch the birds, you could watch a movie, you could watch kids playing. Now, notice that all these things are moving, okay? So when you're watching a movie, you're not watching a TV screen, you're watching things moving on the TV screen. It could be an action movie or a romance movie. You're watching a movie because it's interesting. Okay, can you watch the kids while I use the bathroom? Let's say your family is at the swimming pool, okay? Your wife might ask you, can you watch the kids while I use the bathroom? It's important that someone's always watching the kids in the swimming pool to make sure that they don't drown, right? That would be really bad. Sometimes it's really dangerous for kids to be around water, especially young kids like babies or toddlers. Okay, let's take a look at the word look. So look just means to see something intentionally. Again, the word intentionally just means it's your choice. It's your decision to look at something. So you could look at a website, you could look at a magazine, you could look at a house. Now notice that these things are not moving. With the word watch, things are moving. With the word look, they're not moving. Okay, so you could say, I'm going to look at a house tonight. Like if you want to move houses, then you need to look at several houses to make sure you find one that you like, right? So you could say, I'm going to look at a house tonight. Okay, let's take a look at the word C. Now, C is the broadest word of all these words. C just means everything that goes into your eyes, okay? Can you see the rainbow? Can you see the beautiful rainbow in the sky? I saw you at the mall yesterday. When the squirrel saw me, it ran up a tree. Okay, let's take a look at a few examples here of all these words. So, I could say, look at that! Two bears are fighting over there. Can you see them? Let's stay here and watch them for a while. Okay. Stargazing is my favorite hobby. I love stargazing every night. He stared out the window for hours. If you're really bored, you might just sit in front of your window and stare out the window for hours. Okay. He glanced at the newspaper before he left for work. Let's do some homework. So I want you to try to make one sentence with each of these words, okay? Look, see, watch, stare, gaze, and glance. Post your answers in the comments right down there, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.